Yeah. Now we would like to call upon uh, Professor Sakura for the second talk. Can you hear me? Okay. This is my. Uh, this is uh, my. I'm. I'm supposed to be the last speaker before lunch, so you <laughs> please be patient. Okay. For those of you who don't, who don't, uh, who fail to, uh, who fail to attend my first lecture in the morning, uh, uh, good afternoon and good or good morning. I don't know what to say, uh, but. <laughs> Anyway, I'm from uh, Shimane University Hospital. Shimane is there. Uh, oh, this is a uh, map of Japan. So, that. Well, Atsu-san Garo's regional anesthesia has become very uh, increasingly popular uh, these days because the, uh, it can uh, inc improve the success rate and also uh, decrease the uh, procedure-related complications. Since it, since it requires the uh, a real-time uh, visual control of the uh, needle manipulation, manipulation, uh, needle tip visibility is critical to the safety and success. So I'd like to talk about, I'd like to share with you today uh, and the information uh, how you could improve uh, uh, needle visualization uh, in ultrasound guided regional anesthesia today. Okay, first you need to know, you must know nobology or uh, how to optimize imaging. Okay, the first function on, uh, or key you need to touch is the uh, depth knob uh, idea and uh, because the, uh, each knob is different in depth and ideal uh, and optimal depth, uh, knobs, uh, depth setting is very important because you need to identify the nerve and the other tissue, are important tissues, and the see, you also have to see the needle uh, approach uh, very clear, clearly. Oh, probably the gain knob is uh, most likely the uh, knob you, uh, you use uh, most frequently. Uh, this uh, adjusts the uh, overall uh, brightness of the ultrasound image and uh, uh, inadequate uh, gain or excessive gain uh, can cause a blurring of tissue boundaries or, and as well as their loss of information. And most machines have uh, five to 10 slide controls uh, grouped together. These are time, uh, TGC or time gain compensation co uh, controls. Uh, uh, they uh, adjust gain in specific areas uh, in the, uh, of the image. So uh, the middle uh, image showed an optimal or TGC setting while the others are incorrect settings. Ultrasound beams can be focused, light, light can be focused uh, through a lens on a camera and the focal zone is where the uh, point uh, greatest beam strength uh, intensity occurs and the image resolution is the greatest. So it is very important to adjust the focus at the level of the target knob because that is where the needle tip is approaching. The key to good needle imaging is the ability to make uh, small movements of the probe. And uh, in order to achieve this, uh, you must control the probe uh, precisely, and this is best achieved by uh, stabilizing the probe. And the ulnar aspect of the uh, you know, probe hand should rest on the skin of the patient. There are two needle insertion uh, techniques in relation to the transducer, uh, in-plane technique and uh, out-of-plane technique. With in-plane technique, the needle is placed on the uh, in the plane of ultrasound uh, beam. Uh, so uh, as a result, uh, you, uh, uh, the needles, uh, shaft, and the tip uh, can be observed in, in a longitudinal view, real time as, you, as the needle is advanced uh, uh, toward the target. However, because the uh, beam, uh, ultrasound beam is very thin, uh, probably one millimeter wide. Uh, so a small deviation uh, will cause some of the needle, some of the needle, a part of the needle 
uh, and often the needle tip to disappear from the image. So, and it is possible uh, that when you see an image like this, uh, the needle tip is already inside a nerve. Uh, the other technique, other plane technique, also has its share of problems. Because you insert a needle perpendicular to the ultrasound beam, the needle is usually seen as a small, hyper equic dot on the screen. However, for example, if, if you uh, insert a needle like this, uh, it is relatively easy to confuse uh, the shaft here uh, for the tip uh, because both are equagenic dots. So instead, I recommend that you insert a needle at a very steep angle, steeper angle and closer to the uh, transducer uh, so that uh, you can, uh, that way you can reduce the leng uh, length of uh, needle shaft that can be imaged here and uh, make the error less likely. There are other, some other techniques you, you could do to overcome, uh, you could use uh, to overcome this possible problem. Uh, you could move the transducer forward as you advance the needle uh, so that uh, uh, the needle tip is always uh, you, uh, on, vi visualized uh, all the time, but uh, it, this is not easy. Well, you could try walk down approach. First, you need, you must, uh, you, you measure the depth of the target, and then insert a needle as far away from the uh, transducer uh, as the depth, and advance it at a shallow uh, angle at first, and then gradually increase the uh, angle until 45, 45 degrees, so that you could visualize the needle tip on the nerve. As I said, with inline technique, uh, it is very uh, difficult to align needle uh, with uh, very thin and narrow ultrasound beam. Uh, however, if you uh, if you uh, you know uh, take care to position everything, all the components like your, including yourself, needle probe and the uh, as on display, uh, uh, you can, uh, uh, you may, uh, der during the procedure, uh, your block uh, performance uh, uh, can be much easier. The screen of the adult uh, sound uh, display should be positioned in, uh, directly in front of the block area. And this uh, line of sight positioning uh, means that you you don't have to uh, move. You only have to move your eyes and hands uh, during the procedure. So you should position the patient in a way that allows you to reach the block area very comfortably. Uh, the height of the patient, uh, height of the uh, you know uh, bed, and the position of the patient uh, on the bed should be op optimized. You know, so you can look down at the needle or probe uh, alignment and then up at the image on the screen. So even when you uh, practice with phantom, rather than the way shown in this uh, upper image, I recommend you insert a needle this way to have everything in line to image needle uh, easily and accurately. So for, in, uh, for instance, for instance, Interscaling brachial plexus as well. Uh, it is better to conduct like this, okay? Shown here. Because a conventional needle has, uh, has a smooth uh, surface, it behaves like a mirror, and uh, needle, insertion, needle uh, insertion angle is very important. Uh, as you know, uh, the angle of incidence equals the angle of in reflection. So that uh, uh, visualization is uh, best when the angle, in angle of instance is zero, but becomes poor at steep insertions because the echoes are reflected away uh, from the transducer. 
Gray and his colleagues conducted an in vitro study before uh, to see the uh, effects of insertion angle of the needle on visibility. Uh, this is an uh, experiment set, set up and, and the angle of insertion was uh, uh, measured uh, in relation to the phantom surface. And they found that, that there was good correlation between objective and uh, uh, subjective visibility of block needles. And, they, uh, and objective visibility uh, decreased linearly when they use smaller needles. And uh, they also uh, see, uh, so objective visibility also decreased uh, with uh, sh sharp, uh, steeper insertion angles. And as you can see, uh, it is most likely that the needle, uh, you cannot see the needle that is uh, uh, inserted uh, more than 40, uh, 40 degrees. So you can easily tell the difference between the two, uh, needle inserted a shallow angle and needle inserted steep angle. As a result, a number of investigators investigators have attempt to, attempted to improve visibility uh, of a needle uh, inside a steep angle. And there are three basic techniques you, uh, you should use on a regular basis. Uh, first, uh, you, uh, you need to move the transducer uh, toward you so that uh, uh, the target nerve, target, uh, nerve is always located on the further side of the uh, screen. Uh, this will give you a shallow approach angle possible. Or we insert a needle. We insert a needle uh, as far away from the transducer as your needle length will allow. Finally, there's a technique called healing maneuver uh, or press the press the farthest edge of the transducer into the skin uh, so, uh, so that, uh, uh, and while uh, the nearest edge, uh, uh, while lifting the nearest edge, uh, so it is very in contact. So this will, this has the effect of making a near, uh, what do you call, a less obvious, a less obtuse needle angle relative to the transducer. So in, this can improve uh, visibility. You can use this healing maneuver uh, when using a, a cavalier probe as well. And uh, if you tilt the probe like this, you can image your needle uh, passing at a steeper angle uh, better. These show images uh, during uh, uh, infraclavicular brachial plexus block. So uh, here's a Needle is uh, inserted a steep angle. Uh, with the normal with normal technique, you can uh, the needle shaft and the tip uh, cannot be seen clearly. But by using a uh, healing maneuver here or pressing the corded end of the transducer uh, here into the uh, patient more deeply into the patient, uh, you can actually increase the needle beam uh, angle. Uh, to see the needle better. Other measure to locate your needle is hydrolocation uh, technique. Uh, you insert a small, uh, small amount of local anesthetic and uh, uh, see this uh, spread, see the signs of spread uh, uh, to indicate where the tip position must be. Uh, here, a uh, 22 gauge needle is inserted uh, toward the musculoskeletal nerve, uh, but which is not uh, clearly seen here. But when uh, they injected a small amount of fluid here, uh, uh, that can tell, uh, this can tell or actually g give you information on where the needle or tip uh, is you can confirm the location uh, next to the uh, uh, nerve here. Uh, this can also uh, uh, increase the, uh, uh, you know, the tip can also be highlighted by the contrast itself and uh, to see the 
uh, need a better uh, contrast between the uh, needle tip and the fluid uh, injected. Uh, the popularity of ultrasound guided regional anesthesia uh, uh, has increased. Uh, many uh, instrument and company uh, started, uh, have come up with some solutions uh, uh, to overcome the problem. These include echogenic needles. Echogenic needles use uh, what I call special coatings or uh, cornerstone reflectors to increase the reflection of ultrasound uh, back to the transducer. So this slide shows a specular reflection from a conventional needle. As you can see, the, uh, if you inject, inter, insert a needle at a steep angle, the echoes are uh, reflect away, reflected away and you cannot see the needle. In contrast with an echogenic needle, uh, the rough surface, rough surface uh, scatters the outer sun to all the directions and some of the echoes can come back to the probe so you can see the needle. Another solution could be use of needle guide. Needle guides fix the needle in position uh, relative to the transducer so that uh, so it can prevent the needle from deviating from the beam uh, uh, from the beam uh, while uh, the needle is being advanced. So uh, it is, uh, you can imagine that uh, you, you can, uh, you know, increase the, this can increase the uh, image quality, especially, especially for inexperienced uh, uh, operators. Actually, this study showed that uh, this uh, use of this uh, needle guide uh, reduce the time to perform other than guided uh, uh, femoral nerve catheter placement. See? However, there's a downside to it. Uh, you have to remind, uh, uh, keep in mind that the needle, once the needle is inserted, the uh, transducer is fixed in position, so the guys do not allow you to freely move the transducer or needle uh, to optimize local spread. As ultrasound technology uh, has advanced, uh, new, uh, com uh, new Im Im imaging uh, uh, technology uh, uh, modes have been uh, developed. These include uh, compound imaging and uh, 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 beam steering, beam steering, okay? Traditionally, transducers send signals in a single line of sight, so, uh, this means it sends a signal uh, perpendicular to the uh, perpendicularly from the probe head and listen for the echo. So uh, you'd never uh, see a needle. Uh, you'd never see a, only with this uh, B mode, uh, you know, simple B mode imaging mode. Uh, it is. It will be. It, you'd never see a needle that is not uh, perpendicular to the beam. However, uh, luckily most uh, modern machines have uh, used compound spatial imaging mode. With this mode, uh, actually, the transducer sends signals at multiple uh, angles, and this compound, uh, com this, uh, compound imaging combines three or more uh, different, uh, uh, three or more uh, frames uh, from different angles into a single image, uh, and allows you to see tissue from multiple angles uh, and uh, eliminate, uh, you know, artifact. Unfortunately, you could you still have the you would still have a problem uh, seeing and visualizing the needle that is inside it, uh, uh, more than uh, forty uh, at more than forty degrees. And the left hand side slide shows an image. Uh, with uh, simple uh, B mode Im uh, uh, B mode imaging, uh, while the other right hand side uh, shows an image with multiple lines of sight. Uh, electric beam steering is a very similar technology, but allows the ultrasound to be tilted uh, relative to the transducer to increase the needle beam angle. Uh, of incidence uh, toward the 90 degrees. 
you could say the angle of uh, insertion, and this uh, electric beam steering uh, ensures optimal angle uh, to reflect the ultrasound from the ne uh, needle. However, beam steering increases side load uh, that makes uh, image quality worse, especially this area. To overcome this situation, uh, many ultrasound companies uh, have developed some ways to uh, create a needle enhanced uh, image. I'm not an expert. I'm not sure I, I, I can I, I understand it very, uh, very well, but I, let me try uh, explaining uh, uh, the basic. Uh, with with, uh, with uh, simple uh, uh, B mode, uh, the nerve uh, reflected, reflected the echo from the needle uh, go away from the transducer so that you could barely see the needle, uh, only tissues. On the other hand, on, uh, with steered uh, beam, the beam can be vertical to the needle, so the reflected echo comes back, directly come back to the uh, trans, uh, transducer to enhance the needle image. And after that, uh, the, uh, the machine, usually machines, uh, detect the needle by, the, uh, by using technology called the uh, image subtraction. And finally, they compound uh, these images to create an image that's sh showing the, uh, both uh, needle and uh, tissues uh, clearly. And in addition, some machines uh, compound uh, multiple, di uh, multiple uh, frames of different, different steer angles uh, uh, to produce the best image of the needle. So you, uh, with normal uh, imaging technology, you can see the needle here. That is uh, inside it, uh, at a steep, steep angle. But the same image can be uh, can become visible uh, be become visible when you uh, the, when you turn on the function. Okay, it's not working. Okay, you can see even you can even see the needle or that is inserted at 45 degrees with this technology. For curvilinear probes. Uh, there is another technology. Uh, the left-hand figure shows left-hand figure shows the regular big steering beam. Uh, with this uh, here, you can uh, uh, the needle beam. Each needle beam uh, has an angle of a fixed degree against the normal vector. Uh, normal vector means the uh, which is uh, which is vertical to the uh, surface. Okay. Uh, on, in contrast, on the right, uh, uh, with this parallel steering beam, all the needle beams have the, the same angle against their uh, vertical line. So you can easily imagine that uh, with this uh, uh, beam, some of the resolution uh, reflections don't go back to the uh, you know a probe. But with this, uh, you know, te technique, you can expect the uh, more re reflections come back to the probe. Okay, there's a difference. Finally, uh, there is another technology that some ultrasound companies uh, have started to offer, GPS guidance system. For example, this slide shows inline uh, ultrasound image uh, uh, view with a GPS system, and uh, uh, this provides this technology provides information on the uh, needle uh, location uh, that is uh, sh indicated by the red silhouette here with the projected path in green. On the foot, uh, on the on the uh, bottom right, you can see the footprint of the transducer with the uh, relative needle position. This works also with uh, out of te plane technique as well. So far, this technology is still in an experimental phase. Uh, uh, previous studies have shown mixed results. And in this study, 
Uh, the use of this GPS needle tracking ultrasound system resulted in shorter performance time uh, to place a needle in a phantom uh, model. However, another study showed that uh, this technology was not associated with the uh, uh, higher success rate of higher success of the uh, vascular puncture vascular puncture uh, compared with the traditional ultrasound guided technique. So we still need to wait for a while uh, to see if this technology really uh, helps us. Okay, needle visualization is very important uh, for safe and successful uh, uh, ultrasound guided regional anesthesia. Uh, we have come a long way, we have come a long way, but still need to remember that practice makes perfect. So uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you, Professor Sakura. So uh, I think now we would like to present a souvenir to our speakers. Professor Kamaka. Professor Sakur. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lim. Okay, before we break for lunch, uh, there's an announcement. I think we found a lost, someone lost their room key. If you have lost a room key, please collect your room key from the registration counter it's from one of the hotels. Uh, committee members, the organizing committee and the faculty and the speakers, uh, please stay back for a photo session. The grouping briefing will be done uh, later on. And then uh, lunch is less than an hour. So we'll meet back at 2.30 p.m. here. 2.30 p.m. in this hall. Okay, enjoy your lunch. Oh, oh yeah, uh, can pose. Okay, uh, this is the symposium question. And uh, a reminder for those uh, who wants to get the book, the answer written in a paper with your name and phone number and pass it to the registration counter. Okay, everybody in a hurry for lunch. Oh, okay. Can the organizing committee, faculty member and uh, speakers please come forward? Okay, see.